Six months into the Ukraine conflict, Russia's biggest automaker is feeling the heat, amid what Vladimir Putin calls an economic blitzkrieg. Avtovaz restarted production of its Lada brand this summer, after halting it in March because of Western sanctions, supply shortages and the loss of its French partner Renault. None of its 42,000 workers have been formally laid off. But at its factory in the industrial city of Izhevsk, most have been furloughed since March on two-thirds of their wages. Car production hasn't resumed at Izhevsk, and Avtovaz plans to focus production on its primary plant in Tolyaty, more than 370 miles away. This month, they were offered one-off severance payments. Alexander Knayazev accepted one equivalent to $3,400 and walked away last week. The choice was between bad and terrible, he says. Yes, of course there are other big factories, but the track record you have, you're employed, then you have a pay rise, then another. But we don't have any confirmed qualifications out there. If we show up at a new job, who are we there? Nobody. We will inevitably lose money. Besides, people are afraid of being left without a job. Economy Minister Maxim Reshetnikov has dismissed talk of a dramatic rise in joblessness in Russia, which official data put at a record low of 3.9% in June. Latest government forecasts also indicate a less severe economic contraction than feared this year. But 236,000 Russian workers were either on furlough or reduced hours as of the end of July, according to authorities. And 3 million people are registered unemployed. The auto industry, long a symbol of Russian success and one of the country's largest employers, has suffered more than most. Volkswagen, Nissan, Hyundai Stellantis, Mitsubishi, Volvo and other foreign car firms have suspended their Russian operations and furloughed more than 14,000 workers, according to a Reuters review. Car firms employed about 400,000 people in 2020, and around 10 times as many workers depend on the sector indirectly, according to government data. Avtovaz's sales volumes fell by 63% in the first seven months of the year to 85,000 vehicles. It has sought to adapt since Western sanctions severed Russia from many global supply chains and export markets, launching a series of simplified models. In June, it began production of a stripped-down Lada Granta. It comes without features such as remote keyless control or air conditioning, which rely on imported components.